GTR lighting finally did it. The GTR lighting Ultra 3 bulb completely blows away any other LED bulb for the 09 to 18 RAM. And in this video, I'm gonna prove it to you. Those are halogen bulbs. They burn out, they're not very bright. We're gonna do so much better with the brightest bulb in the world. The third generation of the popular GTR lighting LED bulbs provide even more darkness destroying output than ever before. Unlike its competitors, every aspect has been carefully considered, resulting in a multifaceted masterpiece that leaves no detail behind. It's equipped with custom LEDs. It's a powerhouse that ensures unparalleled performance, while its optimized positioning guarantees efficient light distribution, eliminating the wastage. GTR Lighting is committed to building a durable LED bulb. It's 100% potted and waterproof, ready to conquer anything. It's also super compact with an internal driver, providing 4,700 lumens of luminosity output with effortless installation. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. It's a bulb that outshines and outlasts the competition. Just remember, LED headlight bulbs are not street legal in the USA, and we advise you to not drive with these installed on public roads. In off-road settings, these are fine to use, but using bulbs this bright on the street may be uncomfortable to other drivers. Your Ram uses a reflector headlight housing, which means you really need to get the right bulb to replace this H11 bulb in your low beam. Otherwise, it's gonna spread the light all over the place. It's going to spread it right in front of you and then blind you as you're driving down the road. But more importantly, you're gonna be that guy that then blinds everybody as you're driving. That's the last thing you want, and GTR Lighting for years has created a bulb that replicates that wire-wound filament on your halogen bulb, but now they just made it better. It's now more refined and it's more bright. I'm gonna show you that right now on the wall. I'm gonna back this truck up away from the wall. I'm gonna show you before the benchmark, and then install the Ultra 2, that GTR Lighting bulb that was absolutely amazing. And then I'm gonna show you the Ultra 3 to show you just how much better it really is. This is what your stock halogen bulbs look like on this Ram. And as you can see, it's not very wide, it's not very bright. It's got that really yellowish orange look to it also. That's those halogen bulbs. It's not a very good bulb, you already know this. With the digital lux meter, I only measured 231 maximum lux. That's not good, but we're gonna call that the benchmark. I then installed the Ultra 2. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 was the king of bulbs back in the day. I measured 1,370 maximum lux. That's already 493% brighter than your stock bulbs in this test. Now don't pay too much attention to the lux numbers. If I was like an inch closer to the wall or pulled back a little bit, or I had different ambient light, the number would completely change but you can look at the percentage change and that should be about what you'll get in your test at home. With the Ultra 3 bulb on low beam, I measured 1,889 maximum lux. That is 718% brighter at the brightest point of this light output. That is wild. Not only that, but it centralizes the light exactly where you need it to give you that punch of light when you're cruising down the road. You'll also notice that the color's a little bit different compared to the Ultra 2. The Ultra 3 is a little bit more warmer of a light, and in my opinion, it's much more comfortable when you're driving down the road. Now high beam, this is what your stock bulbs look like. I measured 597 lux. Again, it's not very bright and it's really ugly. The Ultra 2 on high beam, I measured 2,231 maximum lux. That is insane. For high beam to be 274% brighter, it's wild. But of course, GTR lighting stepped it up with the Ultra 3. I measured 2,710 maximum lux. This is going to put the light everywhere for your high beam. The beam pattern control in this reflector headlight housing is done so well with the Ultra 3 bulb. It's 354% brighter. Now, if you wanna see how the Ultra 3 bulb stacks up to all the competition out there, we did make this shootout video where we used it in a RAM headlight housing. Go watch that video, we tested this bulb and compared it against every single bulb you said in the comments below is the best. And they are obviously not the best because the Ultra 3 absolutely destroyed them every way we tested it. I have not found a bulb that's any brighter than the Ultra 3 with the same control. Now that you've decided this bulb is right for you, let's get it installed. First thing we're gonna do is pop the hood. We're gonna remove these headlights. We've got six push tabs on the top. We're gonna remove this shroud over the radiator. Start on one side, work your way over. I like to get underneath here and pry it up. 
It stays in this piece and then you can just easily put it back in later. Set that off to the side. Now we have four 10 millimeter bolts we need to remove. The two inner bolts go in the metal. They look a little bit different. They're a little bit more fine than the outside ones. Now you can pull the grill towards you. If this has not came off before, it might be a little bit tight. Now make your way to the wheel well. It's gonna be really hard to see. There's a little trap door. Remove the push tab, pull the trap door back, reach your hand up and there's gonna be a nice white lever. Give it a push up. That will release this headlight. Now you've only got two 10 millimeter bolts holding on this headlight. Remove those two and you can pull it away. Now you can pull the headlight towards you and remove it. Starting with low beam, this is an H11 bulb. Turn this dust cover counterclockwise. Reach in, be careful if this bulb has been on for a while, it's extremely hot. Take this tab, pry it away like that. Turn the bulb counterclockwise and pull it out just like that. Now grab your PWM module. This is a pulse width modulation module and it looks like this. We're going to plug this in, in line between your stock wiring and the bulb itself. And then we're gonna put this all back in and put the dust cover back on and you're good to go. High beams right down here, same thing. Turn the dust cover counterclockwise and pull it away. Reach down in there. You can disconnect the connector by lifting up the tab and then turn your bulb counterclockwise and pull it away. Now I am gonna install a PWM module on the high beam as well because the 09 to 18 RAM is notorious for having flickering issues. Just to combat that, I'm just gonna be active and install it like this. Now grab your 9005 Ultra 3 bulb and plug it in. The Ultra 3 is plenty small to fit that and the dust cover, which is definitely something you want. This might look like I'm just cramming the light bulb inside of this headlight, but it's actually really cool. Back in the day, you'd have to buy a pass-through harness with an aftermarket dust cover or an extended dust cover just to make all of this fit. It'll be a lot more work than just installing your light and then putting the dust cover back on. You do not have to do that anymore because these bulbs are so compact. They don't have an external driver. They're small enough that you can utilize your original dust covers, slap in the PWM modules as well, and it's good to go. Now, if you're gonna install the world's brightest LED bulb in your headlights, you might as well upgrade the halogen bulbs in your fog lights. In your fog lights, it's a 9006 halogen bulb. You don't want a nice bright white color and then see a nice dingy yellow color. It doesn't make any sense. So you might as well upgrade that as well. I would also recommend using the PWM module just so we don't have any issues with it, no flickering. I hadn't seen flickering when I tested it without, but just to be sure on those long drives, we don't want any flickering. So just simply reach up, disconnect the connection, turn the bulb counterclockwise, put the PWM module in line between your OEM connector and the new 9006 GTR Lighting Ultra 3 bulb. Put the bulb in, turn it clockwise to lock it in place, and you're done. Just make sure you zip tie the excess wiring on the back side. You don't want this dangling here while you're driving down the freeway. Now there is a right way and a wrong way to aim these bulbs. You gotta make sure these LEDs are facing horizontally, shooting out. That way the light output bounces correctly inside of the LED reflector, giving you a proper beam pattern. Thankfully the Ultra 3 is adjustable. Now before taking this down the road at nighttime, make sure you align these properly with a screwdriver on the top of the headlight. You could raise it up or down by turning it clockwise or counterclockwise. That'll allow you to really dial in that beam pattern to put that extreme amount of light exactly where you need it. Now if one of those bulbs doesn't turn on, it means it's polarity specific, simply unplug that connector, flip it 180 degrees and plug it back in. That's really all it takes to get this bulb installed on the 09 to 18 RAM. This is undoubtedly the brightest bulb out there. Please check out that Shudo where we compared it to all of the other popular brands out there. And of course, type in your year, make and model so that when you are ordering your new Ultra 3 bulb that you get the right bulb size for every single application. Low beam, high beam, and fog lights. We'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.